It's Ni Hao, Wu De Ming Jusu, Robert Thomas Burns. And I'm just gonna talk to you guys a little bit about my skills that I've learned here in Canada. When I went to school for outdoor studies, I memorized about all the trees in the area and all the different kinds of wildlife and herbs and plants. This is a large tooth aspen. First I went for media studies and graduated with honors and mostly in high school I focused on communications technologies and art. So the main thing I liked to do was make movies all through most of my life, so at least 10 years of making movies and they're all kind of comedies. I also enjoy painting, drawing, sculpting. I like uh, recording noises out in nature like trees rustling and stuff like this, pretty much anything and I just sort of turn it into a song. I also enjoy hikes and traveling. I've been to Mexico, Dominican Republic, everywhere in Canada pretty much except for up north. I've lived in Toronto and here in Ottawa. After a few years of school I got my first job outside of it as a canoe interpreter. The whole troop would go out and we teach them how to cook and read a map and hang their food up in trees at night and how to set up their tent and pretty much everything they needed to survive in the wilderness. I got a job after that as a ski patrollist and I would just patrol the hills and take care of kids or adults who got hurt. And during the day at that same job, I would also have an outdoor program for entire schools. Then after that, I got a job as a silk screener. So I was printing on shirts and bags and making all sorts of stuff. Next winter, I became a ski instructor and I was working full time teaching about 20 students how to ski. I also have had training as a supply teacher for a daycare. So that was toddlers, pretty much ages one to three and I've been cooking for over six years for myself and following recipes for three on top of that. So yeah, using the alphabet, I'll just sort of have different words that start with each letter and that'll sort of build a whole repertoire and then we can start sounding things out pretty much from there. And I like the idea of not having a repetitive learning system but more of a rhythmic learning system so they're not getting bored and it'll kind of make it more fun like playing music. So yeah, I like to have a relaxed environment for learning always and as much as play can be incorporated into helping would be fantastic. English was one of my favorite subjects in school as well just because I love writing and I've been making up stories my whole life. I like to use pointing and saying the word is another way of memorizing stuff so through visualization also we could just draw whatever we're talking about. Playing charades is a great way to learn new words and memorize things as well. <laughs> so yeah, working with children has been the most rewarding experience in my whole life and there's no greater honor than getting to do it for another family that would be amazing. It would be the greatest experience of my life so far. So, shi shi zhai zhen for now and I'll talk to you soon.